Blue Ava has successfully proven beyond any other reasonable doubt that she's not yet to play or she's yet to play, yes, because she has proven that she's a player with her full chest and she's not apologetic about it, yeah. She's going to press her neck, she does not care whose neck it is that she's pressing on. Mm. There is Kanaga Jr. trying to make peace with his friend Marvin so that there is no bad blood or bad vibe between them. There is Nelisa getting pampered by Kanaga Junior. So much is happening in the house, guys. Please watch this video till the end so you get all the chests. <laughs> sweet people welcome to my channel thank you so much for just staying with me if this is your first time on this channel please subscribe to my amazing subscribers thank you so much for coming back thank you thank you please click on the like button that thumbs up button is very important okay so we know that the eviction show has been concluded we know that jp and uk are no longer in the big brother house which is mm, heartbreaking and we wish them the best and wish them the very very best there is Luke coming up with all the confidence and saying hmm, this me leaving the house is strategic the guy is just full be positivity <laughs> it's, a, it's a very good thing it's a very good thing i wish i could be like that like when something is not going your way you're still so confident that oh this thing is happening for a reason i know who i am mm -hmm. okay that's very good jp i know that jp is going to do well in fact i'm saying it i know <laughs> like i'm just sure that jp is going to do well forget the fact that she not stay till day 72 because jp was so pained she said that she just feels like after five years of trying to get in then she stays for three weeks and she's out she wish she never came i'm like come on baby calm down you're going to do well don't worry <laughs> people will say that i said it all right guys so what blue said about nelisa when you can ask questions during the life eviction show i know that yemi is going to have a conversation with blue like it is sit well with him and don't forget that yemi is always defending elisa the same way elisa is always defending yemi these two pairs don't joke with them they are carrying each other on their head which is good that is how it should be so yemi goes to blue to have a conversation about what she said about Nelisa. but before then he was speaking with mervyn and he was saying normal me yemi i won't even try to speak with her i'll just let things be but i don't want it to be like i've been trying to move away from her before and i'm just using this as an opportunity so i'm going to have a conversation with her let me know and understand where exactly she's coming from yemi tries to speak with blue and then he's asking okay what do you mean by this lady is an instigator what did she do and blue was like she just moves in certain type of way and i'm not afraid to say it i'm going to say it and you know like, okay what did she do blue what did she do she said hey you know she told me that she likes you and there's a way she looks at me when i'm coming there's a way <laughs> come on blue so you're angry at melissa because she told you that she has a crush on yemi oh wait oh god oh god oh, 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 no, no, no. you guys uh, this thing happened very well you know that i see it in movies very well sure. <laughs> And I think it happens in Nigeria very well. When they marry first wife, the other one will now go out and come and marry second wife. That second wife is not the one that will be so jealous and be saying, I was almost not marry a third wife. I was on but you two they marry you on top somebody. So kill you, Shelly. They will marry somebody on top of you. Shall you get the first wife is always the calm one, or she's not going to be dramatic about it. She knows that I'm the first wife, they bring second wife. But that second wife that cause problem between the first wife and the husband, she will not be the one that will be saying, I don't want so blue. You can be jealous that Elisa likes Yemi. Eh, <laughs> wonder she never sees so this blue is just filled with so much drama <clears throat> anyway she was speaking with uh kanaga jr upstairs and kanaga was asking her questions about what she, what she's doing like the game she's playing with the guys and all that she was like mm, she likes black boy black boy is very sweet but the problem is black boy is with nana and that one would be a difficult one there mm -hmm. or she said she was like although she noticed the way that black boy is to look at her that today says she even kissed black boy on the lips and she could tell that i was very happy hmm. yeah, well, uh, so you now nah, anybody you kiss you have brought joy to your life anyways i don't hate blue <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> 
and I was just joking. Okay, so Blue believes that she kissed Black Boy, and Black Boy was happy that hey, what did the Blue have kissed me? What are you talking about? Hmm. Anyway, she now says that when Marvin, she's also looking at Marvin with one corner of the eye, and with Yemi, she does not mind that even if people are trying to, she said it's not even about being the second chick in the situation or something. That she, as long as she gets what she wants, hmm, she's not saying any bothering. As long as she's getting what she wants from this person that she wants, she does not care. Okay, don't forget that yesterday, then I was having a conversation with Blue and Yvonne Olivia. I was telling them that she's sure that Yemi is tired of um, Kosi because Kosi is trying to put him in a box. And the guy does not put him in a box. And Blue was like, yes, that's why it's coming to me. Because me, I let him do whatever it is he wants to do. I'm like, oh yeah, give it to Blue. The strategic uh, man planner, like she knows what a man wants. Like, the ladies are like, yes, when you let a man be, you realize that you are the main thing. I said, okay, are you people taking notes? Are you taking lessons? <laughs> <laughs> from blue and a gang anyways uh, Yvonne was even speaking with Juicy this evening she was like if she was a viewer she would have loved to vote for Kosi because she thinks that Kosi is strategic with her game and she likes the way that Kosi is moving I'm like okay like Kosi fans keep increasing every day but we cannot also deny the fact that Kosi is hated inside and outside the house hmm. the kind of dislike that this house made her for Kosi or more is is not a small one, and actually the Nigerian babes in the house, and then online the people drag Kosi to hmm, it gets a CB. But wait, there is something about this Yemi Kosi and Blue situation shit that is just wondering me. I'm wondering it is wondering me. But anyhow, Sha Blue is moving with. Marvin, Black Boy, and Yemi. In her own head, she wants to play the three men. Like someone like Blue, according to what she's saying, she doesn't care. She's not here to catch feelings. She's not. And Canada Junior was this thing you're doing. Do you mind if he doesn't continue outside? You say she does not mind. Do she does not mind at all at all? Like he's continuing outside the house. She's done for it. She's ready. No problem. Do you mean the three men? The Blue. Canada Junior supposed to ask that question. Was he talking about the three men or Yemi alone? She said she doesn't mind if it continues outside the house but if it does not continue she's not going to start crying and start doing this one now she's very fine but then why are you angry that melissa says she has a crush on because out of all the entire conversation Yemi was like let him get to the point of everything like what did melissa do what did she instigate because everybody uh Meli and uh, blue they are shouting she's an instigator what is she instigating i mean why are they just making the girl feel I don't understand. I don't understand. Lelisa cried today after J, uh, JP was evicted. You know, she's a makeup artist, she's a friend. I'm going to pay myself for ball. It is what it is, and it's a game at the end of the day. Kanaga Jr. is doing everything possible to make sure that he explains the situation of things to Marvin so they don't stay on the bad um, side throughout the entire process of the game. Kanaga Jr. tries to explain to Marvin. Yemi comes to speak with Marvin. And Yemi told Marvin that guy, concentrate more on playing the game than concentrating on being up for a vision. Anyways, let me quickly put that. Marvin said he feels so sad about the fact that JP is not in the house. Oh, the guy was just feeling so lonely and was like, ah, JP, JP. And I'm like, Marvin, JP said, come and chop, come and chop. Yesterday, see that I refuse to chop. She is saying, nah, JP is no longer in the house to so offer you free. You understand? <laughs> so Marvin feels so sad. And Yemi was speaking with him, that guy, concentrate more on the game than being, than concentrating on being up for possible elevation. It's going to come, it's going to happen, but we just have to move with it week in and week out, she gets. So when they finished having that conversation, Miracle was not telling me, Marvin, that guy, do your thing. Don't let anybody talk to you. Don't let anybody put things in your head. If you play your game tomorrow, if you need to nominate anybody, nominate anybody. Is a game. I'm like, Miracle, be coming down. Miracle, I said, you won't even be shocked that uh, Yemi nominated himself and Kosi. Do you understand? And I'm like, why? <laughs> do you think that's not possible? But anyways, it's good he has that at the back of his mind. So if it happens, he won't be like, you know, angry. He said he won't, he won't be surprised that he knows that Yemi likes Kosi. But if he sees them as a threat, he'll put them up for possible eviction. Anyways, I don't know how Miracle is moving in this game. Like, there's something sneaky about Miracle. But 
let's say he's playing the game smart we don't know yet we'll find out as the game the show continues guys i hope that you are having fun i hope you don't feel so bad about the eviction that happened tonight let me know what you think in the comment section let me know how the show is going for you who is doing it for you in the house right now who are you rooting for who are you rooting for guys let me know in the comment section please click on the like button please subscribe if you haven't thank you so much and i'll see you soon bye